All right, guys, back at it. Welcome back to the channel. Half fast, someone done working on the drunken ram. It's not really a drunken ram anymore. Drives really, really smooth now. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so I'll go for a little drive later, but basically I'm doing all this EGR uh, add-on and. Uh, the exhaust removal because I'm cleaning it all. I'm gonna clean it all out and put it all back on uh, so I get better fuel mileage. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Anyway, uh, taking it all off basically to get better fuel mileage. I'm only getting 11.5 miles per gallon um, on this whole tank, fuel tank that I got. <clears throat> um, yeah. So, what I'm going to do also, I'm thinking about it, I don't know what I'm going to do. Black Market Performance, I think is what it's called. They sell a uh, fuel filter delete. Thinking about ordering one of those. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a water separator. So either you'd have to put in your own inline water separator or... Just hope that there's no water in the fuel. Um, but it comes with the cat filter. It's 199 bucks. And uh, yeah, I am gonna might look into that. Might not. Might just buy an OEM fuel filter. Swap it out for now. Um, so anyway, uh, this video is going to be removing this stuff. Or adding this stuff, I should say. It's uh, extra EGR stuff yeah so it adds more EGR to the truck so I already have a video posted in there of what it how to do it um, I did order <coughs> this here the banks uh, ram error intake elbow so that is at a friend's parents house right now or a co-worker I guess you could say so for right now, I'm just taking the EGR off um, and all this stuff over here, EGR cooler and everything. So let me get to that. I probably won't show you. I'll just do a before and after most likely um, just due to the fact that I've already done it so many times. Um, I could probably go back, look at my... Uh, black pearl and check it out so anyway I'll be back once it's all done well guys look familiar looks familiar to me just like every other weekend um so basically I'm taking this diaphragm out goes into this I will have a new air cleaner air filter box whatever you want to call it here shortly hopefully hopefully I can find a good deal but there's some pieces there. Here's all the EGR. EGR, all the components. They're all off. I do have one of these coming, like I said. So for the meantime, I'm just gonna use that blocker plate. Gotta put my dipstick back in. And uh yeah, all this stuff just fell off. So as you can see back there, I do have the EGT thing in there or the adapter in there and then I got the probe sitting on the bench I got this one what I ended up doing is spraying some copper gasket on the bottom side of those went on pretty thick really pretty heavy um, I got the bracket on the bracket for the tranny dipstick or the nut and bolt there nut and the bolt as you could see back there that's why my truck always smells like coolant is leaking coolant out that fitting so I gotta track down one of those fittings I do not have one on that engine the one that was on that engine is broken so anyway now get to the fun part of why EPA needs to watch this video and realize that these uh EGRs are junk. See all that? 
Let's see all this crap coming out of here. This goes right back into the right back into the engine, man. Horrible. And there was a lot more that came out too. It's, it's over there somewhere. Anyway, as you can see all these little these little balls. So this is all going right back into your cylinder. All these basically uh, abrasive sandpaper. So this is just out of the out of the EGR cooler. So if you don't know how this works, so your exhaust is here. Your exhaust manifold is there. Exhaust comes up, goes into here. The exhaust goes from here, opens these little butterflies, and then goes back around to the intake of your engine. So, anyway, pretty, uh, pretty bad deal, huh? This stuff just keeps falling out. Ugh, these EPA people, stupid people, man. That's all I gotta say. I don't know why or how they think it's okay to to allow that to go back into engines and get reburned somehow, but whatever. So anyway, that's gonna be it for the uh, delete on that part. I'm um, leaving this this off because uh, my next video I'll just do a quick little show on how to change that crankcase ventilation filter which uh, there's a lot of videos out there. It's no big deal. So, but anyway guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, make sure you guys comment. Let me know what you guys think about that junk right down there. And uh, if you like this video, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what else you guys wanna see done to, to the fourth gen, to the drunken ram. And here comes the first gen. I call it Charlie Brown. Because it reminds me of Charlie Brown. 12 valve, first gen. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.